Hi, I'm Sarah D. Today's video is brought to you by the words belief, choice, meaning, and pursuit. Belief, choice, meaning, and pursuit. <sighs> Maybe 15, 20 years ago, a long time ago, I was given this an adorable nesting doll by one of my young piano students. I'm sure it was Matthew. Ah, anyway, I will not take them all out. But in this nesting doll, there are a lot of other dolls down to a little tiny little baby, almost actually smaller than my pinky finger. Matthew went on a mission with his father, I believe it was, to another country, I think a European country. I don't remember the name of it. I'm not a geographer and I just, I don't know. I know where I am. And I'm sure you know where you are. This little doll was given to me by a young boy. I think he was about five. Maybe he was as much as seven. And he was one of my piano students. And he was just a fine, young, delightful, kind, just a delightful young man. And I'm sure he is a delightful young man still today because in comparison to me, he still is, but he's a grown man. Who knows, maybe he has a family. Someday when I see him again, if he wants this little doll, I would love to return it to him. This doll means to me that I touched some child's life in a way that I cared about deeply. I cared about him deeply and, and he could tell and he wanted to share something with me. That's what makes my life worthwhile is when I feel like I've touched somebody's life for a, for a good way, in a good way. When I believe that and when I get things like that, it reminds me of it. And when I keep them and I keep remembering them, I remember that maybe I could believe I'm a good person. Do you ever have a difficult time believing you're a good person or that you have value? This morning I was listening to some of my friends online because that's where my friends are. Uh, and I had a few things that I was inspired to write as I was considering what they were saying. And one of the things I wrote was, who and what you choose to know has an effect on where you go. That makes sense, right? Who and what you choose to know, who you choose to know, what you choose to know is going to affect where you end up, where you end up going. <clears throat> If you know about politics, you'll end up going into politics, maybe. If you know about mathematics, maybe you'll become a mathematics teacher. If you know strong, influential, wealthy people, maybe you'll become strong, influential, and wealthy. If you know people who are destitute and believe that the world is going to hell in a handbasket, you'll become someone who is destitute and believes the world is going to hell in a handbasket. Who and what you choose to know has an effect on where you go. And the thing is, we get to choose who and what we choose to know. We do. I choose to know people online who are very inspiring for me. Now, they don't know me, and you know that's irrelevant because I get to learn at their feet anyway, and I'm grateful. When and where you do what you do reveals the desire inside of you. When and where you do what you do. When is it that you show up and help somebody? When is it that you show up and revile somebody? When is it that you do labor? When is it that you do leisure? When is it that you hide from your weakness? When is it that you face it head on and become stronger? When and where you do what you do. Where are you when you are, are showing up in those ways? 
how do you show up with your family? How do you show up with your spouse? Are you mean monster person that you can be? Are you just all wimpy? I've been, I've been recording my phone calls, not my phone calls, my appointments with my doctors because I've been having some health issues. And I don't, I haven't gone to doctors enough in my life to know how to use them to my advantage. I make assumptions that they see the world the way I see it and they look for solutions as opposed to protocols. And they look, for, they can only do protocols and I just feel so frustrated with them. And then I feel weak and wimpy. And when I hear my voice, they're like, this voice right now, it sounds pretty, when I listen to it, because I listen to these, it doesn't sound that bad. It sounds okay. But when I'm in my voice, I'm all wimpy and weak when I'm talking to my doctors. It's like, man, got to woman up. <laughs> so I've got to practice that. But so how do we show up at our doctors? Do we play the victim? Or do we claim our autonomy and our choice over our body? Why and how you keep moving on fuels desire, keeps it strong. So why is it we continue to try? So we're having a lot of health issues or we're having a lot of relationship issues or job issues or just activity issues. How do, when do I do this? When should I do this? Or what should I do? I'm making a big life change. You know, all these changes have happened in life on the external. So how am I going to adjust to make them to my benefit? Um, why and how you keep moving on. How can you keep moving on? Why do you? Is, are there people you're caring for? Are you caring for yourself? Is there a goal that you're going for that you're just driven for, that you're just driven to? That why is going to fuel you forward and how you keep moving on is also going to fuel that desire <clears throat> and keep it strong because if you go moving on in a way that you're shooting yourself in the foot, you might just continue to weaken yourself. A little bit forward, a little bit back, a little bit forward, a little bit back and just doing a seesaw and that doesn't get you very far. So how, why and how you keep moving on. It's important that we know why but that we choose ways the hows that are actually effective to get to the mark we want to get to. What mark do you want to get to? How is it you can get there most effectively? And that will feed the fuel for you to take that next step because it's always going to be difficult. It's not going to be always easy. There will be points of, ah, yes, we're, I'm good, I'm good. But those points will not be felt or appreciated if you don't allow your thoughts, your beliefs, the words were belief, choice, meaning, and pursuit. So if you don't let, allow your beliefs to say, okay, I'm a good person. I, I've done this one thing today and that's, that's good. That's good. That's good enough. That's good enough. I don't have to be the brightest star in the heaven. I just have to shine my light. For that is what is mine to do. And trying to do something that is not yours to do. Doesn't work. I try to give you a good example of it, but it's not coming to my head. Big deal. You can think of an example of trying to be what you're not and how many ways you can fall flat on your face. Who, what, when, where, why, and how shapes the beliefs you allow. Because you allow your beliefs. They may have been formed when you were but a wee child. But you get to choose them now. Who, what, when, where, why, and how shaped what you see then and what you see now. So it doesn't matter how you shaped your beliefs then. If you've found out that the way you shaped your beliefs then does not serve you, you can shape them differently so that they can serve you now. So I'm going to sing a little song. I've sung it before and it's called, I Believe. It's not I believe for every drop of rain, although I gotta do that someday because I really like that one. I'd 
some things that aren't true or is everything does everything you believe or is everything you believe true is it in alignment with the pursuit with your with your goals with the choice is your belief actually in alignment with your choices like I believe being a good person means do ABC but I'm only doing and and I believe I'm a good person but I'm only doing D, E, and F. So are, does, are my beliefs in line with my choice? A, am I unified or am I fragmented? Meaning is found in pursuit, in labor and intent not in results or arriving, not only in the win. Sometimes we say, oh, if I make this much money or if I get this skinny or if I get this beautiful or if I get this much many accolades or if I drive this kind of a car or if I have these friends or if I get to go on this vacation, then my life will have meaning and I'll be a good person and everything will be la-di-da and happily ever after in this you know, bright pink bow. Meaning is found in pursuit of the goal. Meaning is found in pursuit, in labor and intent, not in results. Or arriving, not only in the win. As Lewis Carroll made his words bend to his will, we pay what we do to justify the way we want to feel. Hmm. We pay what we do to align, to justify, to make an excuse for the way we feel, the way we choose to feel, the way we want to feel. Oh, poor me, I'm, I'm at the doctor's office and they're just gonna tell me what to do and it's not gonna work and they're not gonna listen to me and blah, 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 and just be all wimpy. Well, I'm, I'm believing the wrong things. I'm believing I'm not the master of my body when I am and that they're going to limit or hurt me. As Lewis Carroll made his words bend to his will, we pay what we do 
to justify the way we want to feel. So when we feel, when I feel a certain way, when you feel a certain way, we look at what we do and we justify the way we feel. We look at what other people do and we pay those things to mean what we want them to mean. We give them that meaning that will make us feel either wimpy or powerful. We are the master of our fate. We see it as we see it, born of our belief, formed by those around us when we were but we children. Without a filter to reject anything we saw, we became a reflection of those from whom we learned. And then we get to determine when we get grown or of an age that we are capable of, of conscious thought, is our reflection what we want to see? Do our opinions nurture belief that we have everything we need to be who we want to be? We get to choose. <laughs> we get to choose. Choice is our power play. I'm Sarah D. Make it a great day.